Pony boy Michael Curtis. That's the guy. I love this about the movie, actually, because it's he's writing yeah. The Outsiders. And that's the first line of the novel. When I stepped out into the bright sunlight. This is very exciting. This is your Broadway debut. Mm -hmm. I wanted to watch this movie with you. I fell in love with it when I was a kid. Yeah. It's one of my favorite movies. Were you aware of the weight of being involved in like The Outsiders? Yes, because my mom gave me this book to read when I was 14, and I was not a reader. Like I really wasn't. And I just sat down in the science building of my high school, right across from my theater building, just like sat down on the floor, cracked open the book, and immediately was just like, wow, like I really get these brothers. I really understand these brothers. I really feel like them. I feel like I understand their household, everything like that. And like, yeah, I understood the way, mostly because my mom, she gave me that book and like she had written in it and it was like annotated. And I mean, Rob Lowe and Tommy Howell, all those people were up on her locker. Like that was, this was like, the, <laughs> this was the movie for her. But you've actually been doing theater. Sixth grade is sort of when it happened. And I found in one of your old high school bios, it said, he loves hanging out with his friends, playing guitar and being happy. Oh. Which I love, that's such a, <laughs> what a pure, beautiful line. That's what you gotta do. That's, what you, that, that's, what you, that's how you were sort of positioning yourself. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, nothing's really changed, to be honest. That's yeah. still you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I like being happy. So what happened in sixth grade that led you to the theater? And let's well, talk about this a little bit. Yeah, How'd yeah. you find it? Well, I was a bit of a lost soul. I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but my mom and my dad wanted me to do something. I mean, because they, you they moved. were just like, that sort yeah, of yeah, I moved from Michigan to Georgia. And, you know, I was kind of, didn't have a lot of friends and was kind of, you know, out there. I mean, I was an outsider in my own right. And like, I tried sports, I tried Boy Scouts, and I just was not into it. It was all thanks to my sister. She was the one that like got started with singing. She could harmonize first and I was so jealous of her. I was like, I have to learn how to harmonize. She was auditioning for the play for Susical Junior and she was like, you should go and do that. Just kept doing that because I loved it. Like, cause I just had fun. Uh -huh. Like it was the thing that brought me the most joy out of anything. I was such a little Broadway nerd. This is crazy because like, you know, you have like your acting heroes, like Aaron Tveit and Jeremy Jordan and I would watch their interviews with you, like, often, <laughs> often. Okay, well, I'm, I met Jeremy and Aaron when they were like your age, so, you know. Classic. I, it makes sense, look at that. Let's go, look at that. let's go. One morning I woke up earlier than usual. The church was colder than ever. This is a great scene. This, do you love this scene? Mm, it's beautiful. They kind of, run off for a bit in the plot, the Johnny and Ponyboy hair, Ralph Macchio, see Thomas Howell, and this is beautiful. Too bad it can't stay like that all the time. Nothing gold can stay. Yeah, stay gold has become sort of like the iconic outsider's line, but it's also what? It's a little bit of a life motto, and what does that mean to you and to the, in the show? <sighs> to me, it means, I mean, you know, when you talk about people being young at heart, it's like they, they're young at heart. They're not afraid to feel things, you know? And I think it's a very beautiful thing. Like, it, it's just like, stay curious, you know? Stay, stay young at heart, like, if you can, you know? No matter what the world kind of puts on you, like, stay hopeful. Even if it's a tragedy in some ways, it's like, it is a, is this a story about, you know, this kid that's like, at the end of it, it's like, Maybe cherry I'm, I need to stay gold. I guess we're different, huh? Shoot, sure, yeah. Maybe they are. Maybe you're right. I have to ask you about this shirt you're wearing because you walked in and Pony Boy loves a cutoff. He loves showing off his arms. Yes, uh, <laughs> you must. You gotta. You gotta. So did you very intentionally, are you just dressing like Pony Boy now? I like, okay, so when I first moved to New York, my car got broken into, all of my clothes stolen. And so I went wow. back to Georgia, which is where I'm from. And then my dad was like, lent me a bunch of clothes and this was one of the pieces. I mean, and then I watched the movie again and I was like, oh dang, like this is literally his thing. And in the book, like he talks about, it's like a hand-me-down, like it's, uh -huh. it's soda, it used to be Soda Pop's like sweater and he just cut the sleeves off because it was too big, uh, which is kind of the same, same vibe here. Um, so yeah, I felt, I felt it was appropriate. There they go. Yeah. By the way, this happens in the show. Uh-huh. And I, 
was blown away when I saw this show. It's gonna be fun. I mean, it's incredible uh, how this is pulled off on stage. Thank you. I can't wait for audiences to see that. Yeah, I'm very, I'm ready to go. I felt like I was watching The Matrix at times. Dang. Oh, during good. That <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> is it an exhausting show to do? Oh yeah, but so rewarding. Yeah. You know, at the end of it, you're just like, wow. It like, even though it is, you know, put a lot into it, but it is energizing in a way. How does it feel to be on the cusp of something like yeah. this, knowing that you're gonna be on stage every night on Broadway in The Outsiders? It's unfathomable. It's unbelievable. And I just have a feeling that like when we're like, when we move into the Jacobs and I'm just like on that stage, I'm just gonna like weep. Like, I, I can't really believe it. All I can do is just like, not let the pressure get to me and just like enjoy the work.